Hello everyone, let's start with question number 3 of exercise 1.3. It says show that the square of any positive integer cannot be of the form of 5q plus 2 and 5q plus 3. So how to prove this is with the help of Euclid's division lemma. So we know that it is 5q plus r. So in this I will be taking q as m so that I can make it in the form of q. So a equals 5m plus r. Now r lies between 0 and b. We know that 0 and b. b in this case is 5. So r can take 5 values that is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So add 5 different values we need to find the answer and square the term. At r equals 0. At r equals 0 a become 5m only 5m plus r so 5m. So squaring term a square 5m whole square it can be written as 25 m square. Now what we can take common is 5 and leftover will be in the bracket and can be written in the form of q. So it is in the form of 5q and it can be a perfect square. Now at r equals 1. So a becomes 5m plus 1. Now squaring the terms we get 5m plus 1 whole square. So it will be 25m square plus 1 plus 10m. Now what we will do is 25m square plus 10m will bring 1 to the back. So plus 1. Now what we can take common from first two term is 5. So 5m square plus 2m plus 1. Now whatever in the bracket we can write it in the form of q. So 5q plus 1. It is in the form of 5q plus 1 and it will be a perfect square. As we have didn't get yet 5q plus 2 and 5q plus 3. Now the next one r equals 2. So at r equals 2 a becomes 5m plus 2. Now squaring both sides it is a square 5m plus 2 whole square 25m square 2 square is 4 then 10 into 2 is 20m. So now what we will do is We will keep 4 at the back and we can write 25m square plus 20m plus 4. So we, what we can take common from the first two term is 5 and we are left with 5m square plus 4m. So whatever in the bracket can be written as q. So it will be 5q plus 4. Now next one, next will be at r equals to 3. So at r equals 3, we get a as 5m plus 3. So squaring both sides, we get 5m plus 3 whole square. So it can be written as 25m square plus 3 square is 9. 3 into 2 is 6, 6 into 5 is 30m. So what we need to do is, we need to split 9 such that it must, one number must be a factor of 5. So 9 can be written as 5 plus 4. So 25m square plus 4 plus 30m and 4 at the back. So what we need to take common, sorry, it will be 5 here. So what we need to take common is 5 here. So 5m square plus 1 plus 6m in the bracket plus 4. Now whatever in the bracket can be written as q. So it will be 5q plus 4. Now again it is a perfect square as it is in the form of 5q plus 4. Now the last part that is at r equals 4. At r equals 4. So a can be written as 5m plus 4. Now what we need to do is square the terms. So 5m plus 4 whole square. Now 5m plus 4 whole square can be written as 25m square, 4 square is 16, plus 20m into 2 is 40m. Now we need to split 16 such that 1 must be a factor of it, 5, factor of 5. So 15 plus 1, so 25m square, plus 15, plus 40m, plus 1. So we need to take, 
bracket for first three terms and we can take 5 common from it. So we get 5m square plus 3 plus 40m that will be 8m plus 1. Now whatever in the bracket we can term it as 5 cube. So 5 cube plus 1. So we did get 5 cube. We get 5 cube plus 1. We get 5 cube plus 4. So those are all the perfect squares. But the another one we didn't get that is 5 cube plus 2 and 5 cube plus 3. They can't be written in the form of perfect square. Therefore we didn't obtain these two results here. So that's all for question number 3. Thank you for watching this video.